Hi, I'm Heather Grant. I'm a teacher here at Charland District High School in Williamstown. This is our education rack and we have an eight tower rack and we're currently growing different types of uh, leafy greens. We had been uh, looking into uh, different types of growing walls and education racks and hydroponic systems for a while, sort of on our wish list of, wow, this would be amazing to have. Because we saw that it had so many curricular connections, we were able to um, fund the purchase of a growing wall um, through, through our, our school board and um, we have many connections that we make to all different types of classes so it is a huge resource whether it be for um, our green team which is our volunteer organization that helps with um, like a club we run it like a club and we have students who take care of indoor and outdoor gardens and we also have students who have worked on this for science experiments, students who have helped out for um, whether it be you know, a math, uh, tracking growth, and students who are looking for some extra um, hands-on activities to do real-world learning activities that they can do in their courses. So we also use this, of course, in our cooking and hospitality class because it's amazing. Students can walk down the hall, cut some fresh greens, and design recipes around the food that they grow themselves. Uh, I love the way it looks uh, aesthetically. It's so nice to just have fresh greens growing and changing. And it's pretty neat that students can see the change and the growth pretty much day to day. And uh, when we first got it, we were amazed to see how fast it grew, how it changed, and how they can do hands-on activities with it to be able to change it or help it develop. For example, students learn how to mix the nutrients. They learn what goes into the nutrients. They learn um, how hydroponics work. They learn that they can adjust things and they can make connections to their chemistry class, to their science, to their biology class, math class, uh, learning ratios, and all these different things that they can then translate into the hands-on learning activities that, of course, in the end, they see the growth of the plants. Hi, my name is Lanji. I'm a grade 12 student at Charlin District High School. So I particularly enjoy having greenery at, in the school environment. I think it provides um, something to kind of take care of as our own. Like I feel proud of it when I look at it because I take care of it regularly with some other students. I'm uh, Cameron Yagubian. I go, I'm a grade 12 student at Charlotte District High School. It's, it's very nice to have something like to care for. It's a nice break between classes and just have something to slowly work on. I think it's, this is definitely going to be very nice to adopt more widely, especially with you know, gas prices going up, sh food, shipping prices will go up, food prices will go up. So it's very nice to have something you can do yourself and grow, save you a bit of money. One of the things I really love about this system is just the, the ease with which you can um, take it apart. Um, it's very light and um, even our students who are look at, looking after the towers can quite easily um, take them in and out themselves. They can plant them themselves and um, after showing them how to do it once, it really requires very little supervision because um, it's quite easy to do and students find it um, very cool to be able to see that they can plant their own and then watch it grow and change over time. And then of course the students that we have regularly looking after the education rack uh, feel such pride in how it changes and grows over time. I love basil because anytime I um, prune it or anything, people who walk by comment on how good it smells and I agree it smells amazing, I love it. Uh, one of the biggest things that they enjoy doing is of course cutting it and after they see the growth, after they see it mature, being able to bag it, um, being able to, um, for example, participate in a food drive where we don't just donate canned goods like soups and peanut butters, but to be able to donate to food drives and provide fresh greens in big Ziploc bags of kale that was cut the very same day, or leafy greens for a salad cut the very same day and grown by our students is um, very meaningful for them and very engaging for sure.